welcome to Jen's Daily Dish. Today we're making a pain de mier. What is a pain de mier? It is a special loaf of bread made in a Pullman loaf pan. This is gonna make that bread as it rises be a perfect square when you cut it. You've seen those breads probably on very fancy appetizers, those toasts, perfectly square. How do they get it that way? With this particular loaf pan. Have I made anything in this loaf pan before? Ha! Huh. No, not even close. Well, is this my first time using it? Yes, it is. So let's do this together. I'm also making it because, do you believe in magic? of the Pullman loaf pan. Will it make the bread square? Oh, yes it can. Well, I think it can. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Let's do this. All-purpose flour. Salt. Yeast. Mix together. Water. Milk. Butter. Honey. Mix until it creates a smooth, supple dough, about five to seven minutes. It is smooth and supple. Shape it into a ball best you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's good enough. Put it in a lightly greased bowl and cover it. Let it rest for 45 minutes. We're going to fold it over itself and then let it rest another 45. 45 minutes are up. Gently deflate it. And we're going to fold it onto itself four times. Cover and let rest for another 45 minutes. End of the rise cycle, preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Time's up. Put on a lightly floured surface. We're gonna shape this into an 11 by eight rectangle. So we pat it into the shape. Fold the bottom third up and the top third on top, just like a business letter. Seal the edges. Lightly grease your Pullman loaf pan on the bottom and the top, which we'll get to in a minute. We're gonna take this folded dough or seal the edges, and we are going to place it seam side down in the pan. Just like that, it fits pretty perfect. Be sure to press it down so it fits the edges. Now put the lid on, leave about an inch just so that you can see it rise. We're going to let the dough rise for about 60 to 90 minutes. It should be just below the lip of the pan. It is just below the lip. Close it up into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Then we'll take the lid off and bake it for an additional five. That lid off. Oh. Oh. Back it goes. Five more minutes. Time's up. It looks a nice golden brown. Oh, lovely. Let this cool for five minutes, then we'll take it out. All right, five minutes is up. Let's turn it out. Oh, goodness. Oh. Oh. Well, 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 hello, my pretty. Now let's cut it and see if these are perfectly square pieces of bread. Oh my, look at that. Oh yes. Look at this. I mean, seriously, look at this. It is perfectly square, perfect bread. Yay! And I did this for the very first time with you watching me every step of the way. Never made this before. If I can do this, you can too. But you know what it's all about? It's about that taste test. 
perfectly square bread is great, but it's got to taste great too. Mmm. I can imagine making this into perfect square grilled cheese sandwiches or perfect square peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or perfectly square everything sandwich or toast with jam. The possibilities are endless with this perfectly square bread. Mmm. If I can make this perfectly square bread in a Pullman loaf pan for the very first time with you watching me every step of the way, you can too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check me out on Instagram, and turn on those notifications.